All right, look what we have here. Boxes from Keysight and Keithley. I can't wait to open these. We'll take a quick look at these this evening. Well, here it is. I can't really stand the typical unboxings. This is about the right speed of doing those for me. Just get it out there and take a look. This is a Keysight or Agilent, whatever you're going to call it these days. Um, MSO X 3024, so I've got 200 megahertz, four, ch four analog channels, along with the 16-channel uh, uh, digital interface down here, so I can uh, wa monitor things like uh, SPI and parallel buses and all of that at the same time. So that is going to be great to have. It comes with four probes, uh, each 500 megahertz, uh, passive, of course, and these are, I believe these are by default probably times 10 uh, base, uh, base uh, probes. They're not going to be switchable or anything like that. They come with uh, all of the usual and uh, actually some of, the, some of the types of extensions on here for the tips that I haven't had before. So there's a few extra uh, ground connections and things that I, haven't, that I didn't get with um, my Rigel uh, probes that I've had. And then you get this uh, huge tail for uh, all your logic uh, signals. And that comes, of course, with all the clips. It also comes with a uh, power cord, and it's actually a pretty nice IEC cable. Fairly flexible, right angle. I like that. Oh, we get a software CD. <laughs> a sizable booklet sa that says, uh, for your safety. I guess I'll get around to reading that. And what else? Oh, the uh, usual certificate. I usually don't take those out. And that's what we get. I do have one additional accessory and that I uh, picked up, and that is the LAN uh, VGA module. So I can get that all going over LXI, and that'll be nice to have. Uh, that was the only extra that I purchased here. It also came with the uh, applications bundle that normally runs uh, quite a little bit, but they're throwing it in uh, for free on a lot of their uh, models right now. I think it runs to the end of, uh, is it the end of November? I think that special may run. So if you're interested in a nice scope, this is going to be great. It's going to go right up here. It's going to take the place of my Rigol 20, uh, sorry, 4024, which has been a, a pretty good workhorse for several years since it came out. Um, but it has a few glitches here and there. So it's going to move off to the side and the key site is going to take the spot. Now let's open that other box. And here is the second item, a Keithley 2450 source meter, touch screen, you name it, it's got it. This is the 2450, this is the 1 amp 200 volt model, not the um, 6 amp, I forget what its range is. Uh, they've got the, the 2460 model that is a higher current, lower voltage range. I went with this one because of the uh, low fine resolution that it can go down to into the pico amp range, and that's really what I was looking for. So I've been looking for a source meter. Um, finally, I get to have one. And so like the uh, key side up here, it's all mine. These don't go back to anybody. These aren't loaners, and these aren't specials. I, I, I paid for these. So we get to say whatever we think about them as we go through the uh, reviews and, and use them. So you're going to see a lot of this gear in upcoming videos as I perform more and more tests. So they're, they're going to get seen a lot, even if I don't show them uh, explicitly, you know, a video specifically about the 2450 or something. It comes with the usual uh, Kickstarter software, which I already had from from the uh, DMM and from the Power Supply a test test script builder. I haven't used that yet, so we're going to look at that and the usual uh, information, quick book, uh, quick start book, and so on. Uh, nice set of probes. This is the same set of probes that came with the meter. And it also came with a USB cable. And I think the uh, this 
this is the uh, T-Link, I believe, cable. However, it's really the same. I believe the, the wiring in it is the same as the standard Cat5. So I think it works either way uh, with, the, with their uh, interlink uh, system, or you can use it uh, just as a uh, Ethernet. It also comes with, this is a safety uh, interlock. Uh, this thing can generate 200 volts, and there's a safety interlock on the back. I think there's a software-enabled one as well from the front panel. But you can set this up, and if you're in an environment where you want to uh, control and not enable the full 200-volt capability with this uh, for safety reasons, this interlock will limit it to 50 volts, I believe, which is generally considered touch-safe in DC. And what else did we get? Oh, and it is huh, very new, calibrated the 18th of September. So th this is really uh, right, just really a fresh unit. I contacted um, and, and looked around to get one, and they just weren't available uh, this, uh, you know, in the last few weeks. And so I called uh, Test Equity and uh, happened to get with them, and although they showed it as four weeks APO, so four weeks after uh, you place the order, you could get one. And I placed the order, and sure enough, two hours later, this thing shipped out. So the uh, thanks to Test Equity for um, getting this gear out so quickly to me. That's really nice. So I've got the 2450 source meter and the uh, Keysight MSOX 3024T, uh, that's the uh, touchscreen unit, and key, Test Equity got that to me, uh, what would they ship it, about two hours after I placed the order. So that's really great. Thanks to them for getting it out the door so quickly. So looking forward to doing a lot more with this. I've got a couple videos coming up that probably won't feature either of these, but we'll be getting to these soon enough. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.